ke Thailand buat lomba doain ya semangat susu
kita bisa terus apa apa lagi selamat berjuang apa kita berjuang medi aku kangen perlu kamis mis lagi selamat berjuang om dan tante tenaga medis selamat berjuang om tante tenaga medis selamat berjuang om tante tenaga medis kita kami buat kalian kita kami buat kalian kita kami buat kalian kita kami buat kalian Selamat menjual Om dan Tante Tenaga Medis Selamat berjuang Om Tante Tenaga Medis Selamat berjuang Om Tante Tenaga Medis Kita kami buat kalian 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 Dunia telah tersenyum Melihat kau bertaruh nyawa Tak pedulikan yang kau punya Demi raga yang lain Engkau pahlawan dunia Tuhan yang kan membalas semua Jadi lelah yang terbaik Biasanya kita live Instagram ya iya. Sekarang karena kita punya special guest Kita sekarang mau live-nya di Youtube nih Kayaknya udah gak sabar dari tadi Miss Kayaknya saya ngeliat komen-komennya nih Aduh iya. mana Mr. PJ-nya Aduh mana Mr. PJ-nya Kayaknya nah, so, Mr. PJ udah tangannya Mr. PJ Gimana tadi kita sempet lihat ah, Ini dia Kayaknya he's coming Hello Hi Jessica Hi, Hi Elsa Hello. Hello everyone watching Hi all kids yeah, Nice to so see you all Oh, asking for you. Where's Mr. PJ? Where's Mr. PJ? They can wait. <laughs> oh, they're the sweetest. They're all the sweetest. Good yeah. dancers and beautiful people too. <laughs> yeah. But before we ask some question with Mr. PJ, we will show one of the video about you, Mr. PJ. 
No? Oh no, what's this? I'm excited. <laughs> wait, wait. We have a special video. Special video. Wait. So the girls, hi, hi, Mr. PJ. Oh, so many people asking, hi, Mr. PJ. Hi, Mr. PJ. <laughs> We have a lot of friends in Indonesia. Yes, I see. Yeah. On YouTube. Whoa. They can wait to ask you some questions. I'm excited for their questions. Yeah. <laughs> this is my first time to YouTube live. This is yeah. so cool. <laughs> so many cool videos. Yeah, we, we try to remember uh, our last year event. Yes. Also, maybe they really miss going to perform, going to competition, but we just need to wait a little longer. They yeah. can I saw they're making invitations. I think they're going to do a, an online performance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. We have a special pro uh, program for the kids because maybe they're they are feeling bored at home and <laughs> then always just do all the technical things. Maybe they need to refresh their mind also. So yes, that's true. The choreography and then they can perform at home. They will have the costume, they will have uh -huh. the inspiration, they will have the audience also. Yeah. They can invite us by Zoom or by WhatsApp video. That's so, so cool. You need to prepare. After this, you get a lot of performance invitation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send me. If I can go, I will be there. <laughs> they will take you and you need to come to their Zoom performance. It's so exciting. <laughs> or we compile all the videos and then we put them in one like yes. big video. Compile it, but right now they need to perform at their home so they can invite the teachers, friends, dance friends, family, even like no no boundaries because they can invite everyone from Zoom or like IG Live. That's true. Uh, for seeing them for performance from home. Also their parents also there. Yeah, it's so special for them. Maybe the parents should perform also. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also they perform with their siblings. Now they get, uh, we have some mission. So now they get like second mission. Oops, I have a call. Give me <laughs> one moment. One moment. This is crazy. Wait, wait. Yeah, kita tunggu sebentar ya. House Philippines. Ya, nanti pertanyaan-pertanyaannya bisa kita keep dulu. Gitu ya, untuk Q&A. Karena kita mau tahu nih ada apa aja. Wow, uh, I just, I just realized you were wearing batik. Yes, I am. I just realized it. <laughs> For you. <laughs> I only wear this when I'm with you guys. <laughs> everyone, everyone on the live chat, please answer. Okay, wait. I I don't see the last one who messaged was Jessica. I don't see more. Yeah. <laughs> there's Priska. There's Kilau. Michelle is there. Uh, Claire is there. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm excited for this video. What video did you make? <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> no, I think you, you know already. Okay. About, about I think so. But we want to let them know no, about... <laughs> a bit information about you okay uh, so how are you there i think like there's some girls asking like how was philippine mr pj okay where are you reading the messages is that on facebook or youtube uh youtube it's from youtube from youtube okay maybe i restart my youtube yeah Let's see. I so i can the last time. see it all yeah, but I, it's good. I mean, it's it's all it's the same. We still have COVID cases here, so it's scary still, and it's still best to stay home, yeah. and be safe. 
And I'm really sad because I want to go to the studio already. I hear in Indonesia, you can go to the studio already, <laughs> at least in small batches. Here, it's still not advised. So I miss seeing my students, miss seeing my friends. I miss dancing in the studio. I miss Grand Allegro. <laughs> yeah, me <I> too. <laughs> big jumps. Like, I can't do so many big jumps here in my living room. So, so I, this, I can't wait. This is the video of okay. Mr. TV. So we are ready to play the video. Yeah. Ah. Okay. See? more photos if I knew what it was for. Everyone you know. Don't forget next week Mr. PJ birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're going to have a nice class on Wednesday. Yes. That's for sure. <laughs> Don't miss this class, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see now the messages. So hi to uh, Benny and uh, there's Michelle also and Rachel. Hello. Hi, Tiara. <laughs> Yeah, some teachers also get in. So, Mr. PJ, we will want to know about um, why why you interest in dancing? Because I know like you starting, it's not in the young age, right? Not a kid, not in the maybe like under 10. Yes. Yeah. So I, I went to university first and then I finished my degree. And then I was like, Huh, I don't want to work yet, so I was bored. So I was like, maybe I do a workshop first. Just have fun. So I told my family, I won't work yet. I'll just have fun a little bit. Is that okay? So my family was like, okay, you can try. So I took a theater to become a, a workshop to become a theater actor. And I was like, oh, this is cool. I'm enjoying myself. So I do more theater and then, oh, I have to learn how to dance. So I was like, okay, I have to take dance classes. So I took a dance class and my teacher was like, PJ, how old are you? I'm 21. You know what? There's still hope for you. We'll give you a scholarship. So they gave me a scholarship for jazz, but I had to do classical and modern also. I was like, I did not know classical. I did not know modern. All I knew was jazz. I was like, okay, we'll do this. And... I was doing it only to become a better theater actor. But in the recitals, in the shows, the modern teacher will cast me. The ballet teacher will cast me. And I'm like, oh, maybe I have talent. <laughs> so maybe I try this. And uh, God was really good. And uh, yeah, I kept doing it. And then suddenly I joined Ballet Philippines. And then I got a job abroad in a ballet company. So I think I have something good in me. So I just followed that that desire in my heart. So I became a dancer. I also had good teachers. Good teachers and good mentors. They supported me until now. Wow. So, so that's actually never went back to work. Never. Never went to work. <laughs> so it's not too late for starting. It's not too late. No. 22, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I started like two months before 22. My first ballet class. Wow. It's... And I did not want to wear tights because I'm like, no boy. I'm a boy. I will not wear tights. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, this is your uniform. What? <laughs> no limitation of ages for dancing, right? Yes, I think so. But it also helped, like, think that I was active in sports. So I had muscles to begin with and I had coordination. 
So it's going to be harder if you're older and you don't have muscles. Because in ballet, you really train the muscles to dance. That's why you come to class every day because you're training the muscles to dance. And it's just like athletes. And then you become younger. Yeah. yeah and then you become younger. People don't believe I'm turning 39. Like, What? You're 39 this week? Yes, I am. <laughs> so dancing is the secret to staying young. <laughs> Benefit of dancer. <laughs> so, what do you feel uh, when you come to your first ballet class as you are a, a only man and this is the first time and you are adult? What do you feel? I was really shy, but I was brave. Because I was like, okay, I want to become a best, the best actor I can be. I don't care if I look stupid. If I look crazy, I don't care. I'm going to go in that studio and I'm going to learn, learn, learn. So I go to the studio and then the teacher is like, so we start our bar. We do debit plie, debit plie, grand plie, for the brand first, second position, fourth, and then fifth. Okay? Music. And me, I'm like, What is for the bra? What is that? <laughs> so the girl in front of me, I'm like copying the whole time. Copying. So do you remember your video in the beginning? Copying student? That was me. <laughs> My first year. Copying all the time. And then I remember one time, one year after, we did an exercise. And then the teacher was like, okay, PJ, you go with that group. And then the, all the girls forgot the exercise. And I remembered the exercise. And then I finished it all. And then the girls were like, oh, PJ remembered. And they all clapped. I still remember that day. <laughs> that, uh, it might make your, your feeling better. After that. Yes. I was like, yes. <laughs> I deserve a prize. <laughs> so there's an equation that, uh, what the hardest part when you first dancing, maybe you remember at your first class, what the hardest part of, Uh, maybe class or like session that you got? My hardest class was a Horton Ballet class. And then the teacher was making us do things and my body was hurting. I was like, oh, this is so hard. Everything was so hard. And inside my head, PJ, you're not gonna dance anymore. This is too hard. This is too hard. But when I wake up the next day, I'm like, you know what? I can do it. I like the challenge. I'm gonna go again. I come back and I keep coming back. And I remember it was really hard because I I did not have flexibility to begin with. I could not split. My point was horrible. My gosh, my teacher would step on my foot sometimes in anger. Like, PJ, point, point, point. And I'm like, okay, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. But, you know, we like the challenge. And I think that's what makes dance exciting. Because if it's not challenging, why do we keep doing it? And even up to now, I still feel challenged. Because not every day can you do multiple pirouettes. So you have to keep practicing. And you have to keep looking for it. So that's exciting, right? Who wants a boring life? No one. Yes. <laughs> it's, so, it's so memorable for you. <laughs> yeah. That was the hardest. Yeah. So maybe if you if you not mind to uh, share, like, who's the dancer who really inspired you? inspiring you inspired you well i was really inspired by the people around me because when i entered the ballet studio this is a studio in manila they had scholars and all of them were so good <laughs> all of the students the advanced students were so good and i was like i want to be the advanced student i don't want to be the 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 bad one in the back <laughs> I want to be the advanced student so I was really inspired by the people beside me and then my teachers were all like you know what PJ will help you so they inspired me also so even up to now my my very first teachers are still some of the people I look up to up to today like I do choreography I call my teacher teacher James can you come and watch my choreography please I'll treat you to dinner after let's go and then they would come and watch my show and then Uh, I still, and then now when I do, I have my own company and I have classes. So I invite my teachers to teach my students also. So that's what I do so that they learn what I learned also. And it's inspiring. I also remember this video from ABP. They had this video about four male dancers. I think it was Jose Carreño, Angel Corella, 
Ethan Stiefel and Vladimir, the one, the Russian, the one who became uh, ballet director of Berlin Staatsoper. Ah, yeah. And I remember this four video. All of them were male dancers, and they were freaking fantastic. I was like, oh my gosh, they're so good. I want to be like that when I when I'm older. Well, when I'm better. <laughs> so I tried my best. <laughs> I'm not as good as Karenio, but <laughs> I have my own style. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever feel like um, you love challenge and you love like uh, chasing like something better? But do you ever feel in one time you think like you cannot, you cannot reach your dream, you cannot do ballet, maybe like dance better than anyone? Yes, I think. Uh, I think it's good that we love challenges, but we also have to balance. Like like when we balance our pirouettes, we have to find that balance of knowing how far we can go, that we're human, we have to forgive ourselves if we cannot achieve other things, you know. And I think it comes with maturity. <laughs> so I think <laughs> I think for kids, it's okay. Keep dreaming. Keep dreaming and learning that some dreams are for you, some dreams are for other people. So don't compare. Just keep chasing a dream. And if your path changes, then go with it and look for help beside you. Oh my gosh, this is such a hard topic. Because <laughs> dreams are hard. Dreams are hard. So live. Yeah. So live. yeah. They're beautiful, but they're hard. Like if you dream to win the gold in a competition, only one person will win the gold. So if 20 girls dreams to win the gold for category A in whatever ballet competition, only one dream will come true, but that does not mean that the dreams of the other 19 did not come true because you grew, you learned something, you understood something about the world, about your other friends, you know already what you have to, to fight for, to learn in class so that you can actually win the gold and you learn that discipline. That's the best, I think. And regardless of whatever prize you get, the 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 biggest price is you working hard and then becoming better because of it i think like because that one is more satisfying than yeah i've lost some things too i've won awards i've also lost the awards it's okay life goes on and the funny thing is the awards don't matter next year you have to fight again you have to win again <laughs> so yeah you win today tomorrow you lose you win again the next day so just keep going Keep doing what you love. That's more important. Yes. If you love dance, keep dancing. Yeah, Not for the prize, but because of love. With that one. Because we love what we do, so we never give up. Yes, exactly. I think Miss uh, Jessica loves makeup also because I always see her. She's always so nice. Every time. Find it. <laughs> <laughs> see? <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> So actually, um, what kind of all performing arts you are doing until now? Until now, me, I do a lot of theater work and ballet work. So I, I do productions, contemporary dance productions, dance theater. I do musical theater. I do ballet shows. I also do corporate shows. And then I teach and direct also. I've started directing as well. So I did my first musical last year. And then I did my first solo show. Uh, I did a solo show in... Ooh, what happened? There we go. I did a solo show in 2016 or 15. And then I kept doing it again. And then I started my company last year. So that's me. I keep creating. I just want to create. So the question is how to keep creating even if you're in the quarantine. Wow, you're such a multi-talented one, right? <laughs> uh, I'm just crazy. <laughs> I'm just crazy and I love to create. You need to so, be crazy to create your dream, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So me, as somebody asked, what is my goal? That's uh, Angie. Hi, Angie. Uh, she asked, what's my goal? My goal is to keep creating work and until I can't anymore. <laughs> so that's really my goal. And I really enjoy the creative process. 
So more than the show itself, I love discovering what you can do with the body. How do I pour the bra better to the side? Do I use my elbow? Do I use my wrist more? Or do I flatten it out? So discovering in the studio how to best use the body and the soul and the mind yeah. and music and set and crazy stuff. <laughs> That's also like keep feeling like, oh my God, if we met PJ, he's so talented. Even like he's starting in a 22, but so talented. You can do everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and brave. I think you have to be brave. Because a lot of students I see and other art, uh, people I know, they're, they're afraid to make mistakes. They're afraid to look stupid. They're afraid to, to fail. But the thing is, you cannot, you cannot escape it. So if you're always afraid, you will always never do. So the idea is you keep doing. You make a mistake. You, you, make a, you, you don't win the goal. That's okay. You go back again, and then you keep doing, and then you keep doing, and then you're brave and brave and brave, and then you develop, and then you keep going. Yeah? <laughs> That's me. I'm brave. I'm not the best. I'm really not the best dancer. I mean, I know people with better feet, who can turn better, jump higher, uh, more flexible. But what use is all of that if you're not able to give it to your audience or to the people around? So it's so like... It's like a yes. good heart, brave heart, and positive mind, right? Yes, exactly. So that's exactly. what we see you on a full energy. Yeah. Yes. You're always <laughs> smiling. Yes. smiling. Yes, of course. You're smiling. Even if you're tired, yes, you're always smiling. <laughs> <laughs> and it's great because I see your energy at Arabesque Ballet, and I see that the energy of the teachers and the students and the parents are all working very well together. That's why you can do what you want to do. And your students are good. So I think it's because of that energy. So bravo to all of you at Arabesque Ballet Thank you Studio. Much. So your support to us? Yes, of course. <laughs> I'm like, this is a fourth month. You keep support us with master class and keep cheering the girls up. <laughs> And they really miss, I always miss your class. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Mr. VJ, I really like you. <laughs> okay, promise this Wednesday we're going to do something from Lion King. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so don't miss the class. Oh, yeah, there's a question. Uh, what your favorite part uh, dance style? I think My favorite dance style is improvisation. I see. Improvisation. Because that's me. If I'm sad, put on music, I dance in the living room. If I'm happy, I dance. <laughs> If I'm angry, I dance. <laughs> so I use improvisation to show what I'm feeling inside and what's in the mind and in the heart. And that I love. Because you're combining not just the physical, but with the emotional. That's my favorite. One time, I will do improvisation with you guys when I visit you. We can't wait for that class. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really happy when Corona over and you come to Bandung? Yeah, I'm really happy to come here. I cannot wait. I'm excited for Corona to end. Can we just end this? Can we cure it already? Can we make an antidote? It's a little bit exciting. One day, full class with PJ. Yes. <laughs> all Grand Allegro. No joking. Oh, after that, all die. <laughs> Only for Miss Elsa. Everyone else rest. Miss Elsa again. Tombay, Padiburi, Glissa, Granjate. Because we're one team. So, one die, everyone die. <laughs> okay, Ting Ting is the first. She yeah. has to demonstrate. Yeah, you know? yeah, we will call her. Ting Ting. <laughs> okay. okay. Join your YouTube live. <laughs> Hi, Miss Ting Ting. Are you ready for Grand Allegro? <laughs> no, Grand Allegro. <laughs> I think it's going to be the hardest because all of us are so used to moving small. When we come back to the studio, when teacher says, Tombe, Pate, 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 Pate,
No stamina. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Because usually we do marking at home. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> marking. <laughs> so, speaking, uh, we know that you have a lot of scholarship and you also we know that you have got some award. Yes, I do have some awards. I actually fished out my oldest awards. They were in trophies, but I can't remember. I had like things like this. Most Improved Scholar, Jazz Dancer of the Year, Whoa. 2005, and then 2006, and then for Modern, 2006. The others did not survive because I moved countries and homes so many times. <laughs> so sometimes <laughs> one will break and get lost. This is my. These are my biggest awards. Uh, these ones. They're from... We have something like, do you know the Tonys? They're like the Oscars for theater. Yeah. So we have our version here, Gawan Buhay, for theater. So I won two awards for choreography already. Wow! Oh, so it's Buhan. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I was nominated many times also. I was nominated uh, five times. I won only twice. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's great, man. That's great. Yeah. I also was nominated for some dance categories, but it's okay. I didn't get the prize. That's fine. <laughs> because we, we can try again because we love to dance. So yeah. reward is just like bonus. Yeah, this is bonus. This is bonus. I was happy with the show. When I see the audience giving a standing ovation, I'm like, oh. Yeah, I made it like that. I made it. Every time there was a standing ovation, I'm in the audience watching some of my choreography. And I'm like, will they like my show? Will they like my show? And then I close my eyes. And then I open. And then they're all standing up. I'm like, yes! <laughs> That's really hard. Happy. You have... Yeah! Best yeah. feeling in the world. A good show is the best feeling in the world. I'm sure all the students can agree. If they do a good show when they go home, they're the happiest children in the world, right? Yes. I know you are the, we know like P, Mr. PJ is super multi-talented dancer. And I have like one picture. <laughs> I want to ask you what is okay. And when is this? Okay. Yeah, I can show craziness of Mr. PJ. First picture. Can you tell me when is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually a performance I did. And this was uh dance theater because I had to do a monologue for, um from the play M Butterfly. It's a popular play that won the, the, the Tonys in New York. And then they I had to play a guy and a woman. Ah, uh, so, so so that that one with the white paint, it's yes. uh, the the same performance with this one. Can can you help me to show the other picture? No, this different. Oh, different. 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 <laughs> so later you, you need to tell me. This is awesome because no no everyone can do it like this. Uh, yes, this is from La Cage of Four. Craziest show. I already, I did it in Germany also. I did it in German and I did it here in Manila. And in the show, it's, it's also a movie. There's a movie of it. And then there's this guy who becomes popular singing in drag. And we are one of the Cajels. So in this scene, Sometimes I'm a Kajel. In another scene, I'm a man, butch man, fighting, fighting. And then I have to change costume. So we had like 14 costume changes in the show. 14. And then one costume change, I have, I have to change from normal clothes to a wedding gown in 40 seconds. Wow. Change everything. Change wig, change makeup, change dress, change shoes. All in 45 seconds. And then run back on stage and then sing. I am what I am and what I am is an illusion. So that's one of the things that... You can show us a bit 
of uh, that part when you become like a half woman, half man. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> You're putting me on the spot, huh? <laughs> it's hard it was hard you can do it it was such a challenge and yeah. you know to put makeup on we had the makeup artist they removed my eyebrows they covered this they did everything always takes me one hour to put the makeup Whoa. the first makeup on fantastic so i have such respect for women and how they look like because it's effort <laughs> to prepare to do everything i don't i can't i don't have the patience <laughs> i will not <laughs> maybe so, maybe you can show show us a little about that part a little bit wait um uh, i have to remember the song um uh, da -da 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 -da. And then on the other side, I'm the butch guy. Yeah. So, and then we do the big jumps, and then we do push-ups, and then I do push-up, and then jump on another guy, and then push up, and then he flips over. So I don't know if I can demonstrate it now, but I can do handstand if you want. Yeah. This huh? song is okay. <laughs> Effort. <laughs> I'm not warm. I'll do a handstand if you want. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> You guys, huh? <laughs> That's okay. It's all fun. I don't know if I have a video. I can look for the video, but it's all buried in like hard drives. <laughs> yeah, we were really exciting when we found that picture. Oh my God. <laughs> he, he is so talented. It's hard to do. <laughs> we had to tap dance for that show. That was the first show I learned how to tap dance. Ah. Mm. And then eventually I did I took workshops for tap, but that was the first show. I was like, I have to tap dance, really? I don't know how. So the teacher's like, again, 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 again. Like, okay, that was fun. That was really fun. In heels. I had to wear heels. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Not only tap, but in heels too. In heels with double pirouettes. Oh my goodness. No escape. <laughs> it's so hard. The hardest part was not the pirouette, it was the wig. You wear the wig and then you pirouette and then the wig will fly. <laughs> <laughs> and move from one side to the other side. And, then, and move and then you're like fixing it all the time. So every time I pirouette, I'm like, don't move your head. <laughs> it's okay. Yes. Spotting. <laughs> spotting, spotting. Spotting, yeah. <laughs> so that was really fun. That was really fun. <laughs> So, this is like uh, during like quarantine time. We want to know like what are you doing at home because like everyone now like staying at home, they feel like what we do because we are dancer and now we are trapped at home. They feel like some of people have a big space at home, but I know like most of them have more space. Oh, yes. Yeah. Things that you do, we want to know like what, what activity you're doing daily at home. Well, I live in a very small condominium. I have a room here, my living room, kitchen, and bathroom. So it's just me here at home. So I have no escape from myself. <laughs> so PJ with crazy PJ, that's crazy. But um, <laughs> most of my time is devoted to, aside from teaching, so I teach, I have my company. So every month we have a mini project. So I ask them to create videos, to create concepts, to create ideas, and I fix that. But I'm also the one person behind the what's happening. So I do marketing, I do the commenting, I do the texting, I do the social media, <laughs> I do all the documentation, I set up the Zoom, everything. <laughs> So it's crazy. I have one assistant now who's helped me with the uh, accounting and the Excel sheets and a little bit of organizing. And then now I have a new assistant to help me with making the posters. But in the beginning, it was all me. 
So it was really crazy. Can you imagine? And then I also do fundraising. So I've been active in two organizations in the Philippines, which one is Likha PH, where I am uh, the creative manager now. So I already have a position. And then we, are, we raise funds for dancers who don't have work because many of our dancer friends do not teach. They just dance. So now that there's no shows, they don't have money. So yeah. we are trying to raise money for that and we're trying to give them work. So we're doing fundraising. And then I'm also with another group that fundraises also, the Artist Welfare Project in the Philippines, which is also for dance, but also for theater and film and other organizations. So sometimes I have meetings at 9 p.m. <laughs> just fixing out these things. So that's it. So we have free classes every month now. We pay our teachers. Um, it's really exciting because... Because people want to help. Yeah. And it's really nice to know that there are people who recognize that dance is important. Because people are saying because of COVID, dance is not essential. I'm like, no, dance will keep you young. Correct. <laughs> All the dancers look young then yes. because yeah. of their dancer. Yes. <laughs> so dance. Elsa has a great team yeah. in arabesque ballet because all of you are working to make sure the studio is fit and cool so a round of applause to all of you thank you so much <laughs> yeah oh, Mr. PJ. but i'm learning from you so i'm also looking for assistance now <laughs> <laughs> i'm learning from this elsa i need an assistant <laughs> oh. <laughs> no you are super multi-talented we just like <laughs> whoa 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 with all your done <laughs> <laughs> but but it's tiring, right? It's tiring. So we get tired also. We're human after all. So yeah. we're like, okay, we have to acknowledge when we need help. Yeah. All people need help. and But I know like you are super energetic and positive mind. And because you love it, you're making it so wonderful. Every day, I know like every day you have, I think like you have a class, you have your own training. Yes. So, can give us like some tips to the all the dancers to keep in shape because I know you you have your own diet and yes. exercise to keep your body in shape because not everyone staying home and gain weight with a delicious food. Yeah, everybody will will just eat at home. Me, I love food. <laughs> That's why I work out and exercise so I can eat because I like to eat. You know, I mean, I have a diet. I don't eat pork. I uh, don't eat shellfish. I try to eat vegetables a lot. But I still eat a lot. I like I like a hamburger. I had fried chicken for lunch today. <laughs> you know, I have <laughs> something here. Yeah. Uh oh. This is it's trending in Indonesia now. Oh, that's so good. What's that? Garlic, garlic bread with. Let's open it. Let's open it. Garlic bread with? I think garlic bread with. Miss Jessica can explain because, see, this is, she you know, like it's super popular. Oh, wow. It looks so good. Is there like cream inside? inside um, there's a garlic and maybe parmesan and beef salami here. Oh, wow. That's and maybe so inside good. the cheese also. So when you open it, it's <gasps> it's like a creamy bread. Okay, if I go there, we have to get that. Okay, <laughs> I have to try that. So we have to exercise so that we can yeah. eat a lot. We have to exercise because I talk to my coach. I have a coach who tell who helps me with my workout so that I'm strong. So I work out thrice a week. My workout is two hours long. Whoa, two hours. Three times a week, two hours long. And it's really a heavy workout. And he says, if you work out, you can eat to replace what you burn. But if you want to stay healthy, try to stay away from food that's fat. Fresh food is better. If it comes in a box, put a question mark. That's his thing. Of course, I still eat things from the box. I like pizza still. <laughs> so I work out. <laughs> <laughs> I know you love to eat, Miss Elsa. <laughs> yeah, so we need to have like a cleaner time 
when you come to yes. India. Yeah? Yes. Maybe or we work out together. Do my workout with me. <laughs> <laughs> so every day you have like exercise uh, three times a week. Yeah, three times a week. Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Saturday is my rest day. I don't exercise on Saturday. No dancing. But I generally teach or do my own class every day. So I have two to three classes a day. Ah. Sometimes so, only one. <laughs> no, like what's your favorite food? What is my favorite food? Yeah, the most one. The, the most, most one. The most? Who? That's really a tough, tough question. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> top three. <laughs> top three. Top three. Okay. Give me the sweet one and savory one. Okay, sweet. I really love chocolate. So oh. a good chocolate cake is perfect. My favorite is the lava chocolate cake where it melts inside and then you have ice cream oh. on top and then you have walnuts on top. That's my favorite. Like anytime. And then you have chocolate syrup or salted caramel syrup on top. You're done. That's that's amazing. <laughs> Savory. Gosh, a good steak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, I just watched a TV show and then they had like an amazing steak and I'm like, oh, now I'm hungry. I want to order oh. steak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, healthy food. I really like arugula. What's it? Arugula. The, 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 the leaf that's like very... Bitter. Wait, let me Google. Google arugula in Bahasa. <laughs> Indonesian. Hmm. Ah, I don't know how it says. Cannot find. Arugula. Wait, let's let's put a picture. Maybe you'll find it. Some kids don't like it. I love it in pizza. Ah. So it's kind of like Fiji. Yes. Okay, wait. Picture. Angula. It looks like this. Angula. Ah, I see. ah, ah that's delicious. Yeah. Yes, right? Pizza. <clears throat> yeah, yes. And then, and then you put good the cheese on top. Wow. Cheese, tomato, balsamic dressing. <laughs> And then good garlic bread. Nothing to to Fiji lover, so I think Jessica will be more excited <laughs> to eat that. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> you have to feed Elsa tomorrow. Arugula. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't eat onion. I didn't eat arugula. I didn't eat that. <laughs> but I remember we went somewhere in Indonesia, and then we went to a place where they had like many small bowls. And then you get one bowl, and then you can get as many as you want. And it's all in front. That was uh, my favorite. That's like Sundanese food. That was really good. Yeah. So you really need to come to Bandung. Or I spent yeah, yes. all the Sundanese food picture and nasi goreng. <laughs> yes, nasi goreng. goreng. <laughs> but that was my favorite meal when I was in Bandung. I remember it so well. And then that red meat was really good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the next question: What's your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Ooh. Right now, I'm watching cartoons. Cartoons? <laughs> yeah. Ah. And I've been watching uh, Ghibli films now, so they're my favorite right now because it changes all the time depending on the mood. So if I'm in a loving mood, I like the holiday. If I like dark mood, I like Batman. But now I'm loving Ghibli films. So I don't know if you know Totoro. Yeah. yeah. That's a, that's a Ghibli film. It comes from an animation studio in Japan. And uh, then Totoro is one of their best films. But it's not the best for me. My best is Howl's Moving Castle. That's really good. It's cartoons. Oh, I don't so maybe know. the kids will know it. <laughs> yeah, Totoro, I know. Oh, yeah. you say like arugula in Indonesia? Yes. Bas I think it's not basil. That's how. Yeah, maybe it's similar. 
It's similar to basil. Oh, gado gado. Gado gado is delicious. Gado gado, it's like some veggie with peanut sauce. Yes. I had it. It's so good. Yeah. Yes. Maybe you can use I usually use kipi to kipi. change the sauce. Kipi with the fish sauce, bit fish sauce. And you can pour on the veggie and steamed potato. So good. <laughs> I remember when I went to Bandung, we went to the grocery and I bought all the herbs. Yeah. <laughs> Later we, we make like food channel. <laughs> yeah. But that's what I do. If I visit a country, I go to their grocery and I buy the things that I can cook at home. Like if I go to Indonesia, then I get the the pre-made recipes already and then you just add the meat or coconut sauce and then you have Indonesia at home already. Did you get so, did you our sambal? Yes, I did. I did. I still have. I, think <laughs> I still have sambal. One more bottle. Just one left. Because I like chili also. So you need to keep until you can coming back to yeah. Indonesia. <laughs> oh, but I made my own sambal one time already. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you chop up lots of garlic, chop up lots of chili different kind, and then maybe onion, and then you add it a little salt, a little sugar. Yes. I don't like fish sauce, but you can also put fish sauce. And then you just fry it. The house will stink. That's for sure. <laughs> also, oh yeah, also guys, do you know, beside a multi-talented dancer, multi-talented coordinator, he also multi-talented cook at cook. <laughs> no, not multi-talented cook. He is good at cook, I know. He, he Sometimes he show me like chicken with uh, some sambals and he made it by himself. Oh my God. <laughs> even, even I need to... Uh, courage myself to make it. <laughs> it took a long time, but it <laughs> but this was the packing I bought from Indonesia. It's so easy. You just put the garlic and then you just put the chicken and then you put the sauce. It's finished. So easy. <laughs> but some people maybe decided to to buy outside or take away if you are staying alone. <laughs> but yeah. Can I cannot cook every day. It's tiring, <laughs> and then you have to wash dishes. Ah. <laughs> it's amazing. Who likes washing dishes? Not teacher PJ. <laughs> <laughs> you cook, we have to wash the dishes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. We need to be a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a promise. I will cook. I'll cook Filipino next time I go there. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, this is also some question. Do you like dancing or teaching us? Pardon? You like dancing most or like teaching most? I, I enjoy dancing, but I love teaching also because I love sharing. And then I when I'm teaching, I also learn. Like I learn things while teaching so I can apply to my own dancing. So I really enjoy teaching and I like seeing my kids smile. Yeah. Like if, if they smile after class, my job is done. You know, <laughs> my job is done. I can already eat my cake. Oh, no. you're tired when you are class, just keep smiling. <laughs> it make the class faster <laughs> if you're tired. No, I'm just kidding. Or breathing. Breathing helps. Good breathing. Yeah. Good breathing. And besides, dancing is tiring anyway. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if you're afraid to get tired, don't dance. <laughs> just sit in the couch and then just eat potato chips and watch TV. <laughs> yeah. Maybe people now like better to like eating some dessert while watching TV at home. Also like this hard for like some kids now because like they have like limited space at home. They they feel like it's not the right place to dancing, so they keep like, playing. Keep maybe like watching TV, playing um, games, more online games. That's true. It's it's hard for them. It's also like, bit, yeah, sad for us to see them like, yeah, it's hard time. Like along the year, they need to stay at home because like in Indonesia, they need to stay at home until January. Yeah, same here. Oh, yeah. We have the same. So I teach in a university also. And... It's already written by the government that we cannot see our students until maybe 
next year maybe because it's not safe for the students. We want to see our students already, but we can't. Yeah. So we do like everything online. Even like... I see. Uh, I love your challenges. Yeah. <laughs> and we have... So many challenges. To do, to do keep like posting and check. And That's this so month, creative. This month, they can like change, exchange the, we collect the star. We change the, the challenge and homework with the stars. And this month, after performing from home, they can like change the star with like some goodies. So oh. they can do like from your or like some books, oh. some point or like some yeah. stuff kind of like that wow so, the stickers, stickers. They love stickers right yeah. kids love stickers so much yeah. i like stickers also <laughs> i'll give you some later <laughs> Please. we we do like sometimes we do like um miss jessica and miss ting ting do like a stationary store they have a lot <laughs> already to change with the stars yeah <laughs> and that's cool we also do have like some programs for the young kids maybe we can show the video okay some go for it for the next week we have like kind of like package because i know like kids getting bored at home they need to do like some artworks some dance and um, we know we have like Miss Ting Ting, Miss Sulis who really love the kids and work really hard with kids and they're all the kids really attach with them. They're so good. Yeah. Actually this program is because we want the kids to keep learning even they are at home because they cannot go to the school, right? Yeah. We need to keep them keep learning, do the craft and understanding so many things. That's so important. I'm so happy you're doing this. And I love the way you're approaching it. It's so positive. I see the kids smiling all the time when they post their stories. And I see that they're enjoying. <laughs> so that's the important thing. So even if you're trapped at home, trapped. <laughs> Look, I'm a balloon. <laughs> trapped at home, you're happy still. <laughs> yeah, the most important. Because their videos sometimes are our refreshment, you know? When they are doing the moves and they look funny or sometimes like cute, so we are smiling too. The teacher is smiling too. So make it a bit teaser. So for the kids three until six year, we have like activity for next year being a little chef. So Miss Ting Ting already prepared and made a You're their making own a pizza. pizza. <gasps> he made it. That's and so cool. For this pizza making and Can with the it? Coloring, paste, and everything. Can you eat it? Is it all edible? No, no, no. no. It's not edible. <laughs> it's not edible. <laughs> it's from, uh, from felt. Okay, okay. It yeah. looks like you can probably eat it like a yeah, thick crust okay. pizza. to see when I see this. Does it look looks real? Does it looks real? Uh, I'm not sure what the yellow is. It looks strange. The yellow. <laughs> It looks a little bit alien. Who's this felt? Yeah. <laughs> or is it bell pepper? It's bell pepper. Yeah, yeah. Bell pepper. Right, correct. <laughs> That's a good job. The pepperoni looks so real. Then show, show a bit the... The pepperoni looks real. Uh, <laughs> you want the pepperoni? Yeah, so we, so we can see the see video. A bit a uh, video, I think, like just a poster. Mm. So okay. Like, nose.
Yeah, I just a uh, sneak peek for our July. Exam. That's so cool. <laughs> I love animals also. Yeah. Someone is asking in the chat. That's Laura. Hi, Laura. Yeah. Where is your inspiration coming from? Because your choreography is always cute and unique. I'm inspired because I'm going to see all of you actually. So whenever I think of the choreography, I always think I'm making the choreography for young, vibrant girls. So I have to make sure that what I do is vibrant, joyful, and creative. Because if I'm like, I'll just do whatever I want, doesn't matter. But if I have an idea, I want to make the girls smile. So I make the choreography happy. So maybe I do something sad also. So we cry after drama. Not kidding. <laughs> But yeah, that's where my inspiration comes from. It's giving to your audience. So whether your audience is your mama, your papa, your friends, your students, I feel like I'm performing and I have to give something to make them smile. So if you think about that when you make your choreography, it'll be good. It's not yeah. about impressing. <sighs> It's not about impressing. It's about making people smile. And then you use your double pirouette to make them smile. <laughs> There's an equation you can like just chat in our live chat. We will ask Mr. PJ and he will answer by himself. Oh, Mr. Okay, cool. Post on Instagram. Wait, I'll look for something. Cover your wall with green pepper. What is that? Okay. Wall? I have... I have stamps also for my students. Oh. So if they get the question, I'll give you a smiling face stamp. Oh. <laughs> And then if you're happy here, a king smiling face. Wow. <laughs> With a crown. <laughs> See, I also have for my kids when I have kids. My stickers are gone. <laughs> oh, this one's a musical oh, so quarter good. notes. I haven't used this in a while because it's quarantine. <laughs> My favorite class to teach is baby ballet because they're always so cute. And then I always play games with them. So they come up to me, Mr. PJ, Mr. PJ, can we play that game again? And I'm like, no, you behave first. If you're behave, we will play the game. So they do all the exercises. So good, good, good. And then at the end, Mr. PJ, can we play the game now? Yes, we will play the game. You are good. One time, one girl, not good. So I was really like, no, no playing the game. I was just like, okay. And then she goes home. Next week, super good. Oh. <laughs> Always super good. Oh. Always super good. And I'm like, yes, yes, we will play your game. What game do you want? So I go to her. What game do you want? Mr. PJ, can you play this game? Okay. And then it's so easy now. And then we just have fun all the time. Wow. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Yes, if you want to play a game, be good, and then they they enjoy. <laughs> so they learn to have the discipline. Of course. Oh, so that's one, Mister. In your latest post on Instagram, you cover your wall with green pepper. So what is this? For, what what is that for? Oh, it's green paper because I still have some here. So close this, and it's so that you can make a green screen. I green it's easier to erase everything behind so i can make a virtual background and it will be easier okay talking about food this was my food the other day <laughs> so i have where's that uh i have meat i have bread with cheese eggs and my salad <laughs> oh it's There. so So if you want to be more creative, you can do a green screen. I think Miss Elsa is also using a green screen now. Yes, correct. So also it's the same. Uh, here actually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. See, they also have a green yeah. screen. So that's what it's for. I'm making a music video because my friend made a song. And then the, in the music video, I'm supposed to be floating in space. Oh, and then they're going to erase my background to make it look like like I'm in the galaxy. So yeah. we'll see how that goes. They still have to edit. I have to make videos again. 
it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. But it's so fun to to make it like explore with like some virtual background when you're staying at home so you can like cheer up your mood. Yeah. yeah, that's an idea also for the future, like a challenge for the big girls to make a music video to it's the so same song. Like, yeah. what if they do a music video? I don't know. Yeah, maybe they can like doing in a Zoom and yes, change with the on the beach, on the city. They can do that. <laughs> and you can put your own pictures in the back. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yes, correct. <laughs> Mr. PJ, last question. Sure. Ah, what are your dream for dancing and dancer all around the world? I mean, what is your uh, dream? Uh, what What are your dreams for this dancing, uh, dancing industries, performing arts, and all the dancers around the world? Who? <laughs> My dream is that it becomes essential, recognized as essential. Like, I think people forget that dance is essential and they think it's only for a hobby. But dancing is beyond a hobby. It goes beyond winning prizes. Dance is an expression to show joy. It's to show happiness. It's to show sadness. It's a tool to share our emotions. It's healthy for us. And I think people are afraid to dance. Like, people are afraid to dance if we're in public. If we're in the studio, okay, I can dance. But if we're in public, we're afraid to dance. So I'm hoping that everyone forgets that that, that image of people dancing as stupid or silly. Ah, that person's silly. It's like, instead, but recognize that dancing is cool. And it doesn't matter if you're doing hip-hop, ballet, jazz, street dance. Dancing is cool. And I hope that people make a profession out of it. Because I know many dancers in Indonesia want to make, uh, eventually, like, become dancers also. But dancing does not mean money. So if you want to survive in this world, you need a good paycheck. So I'm hoping that people recognize that dance is really good and be paid well so that you can have a good life as a dancer anywhere in the world. Yes. Wow. Right? But, yeah. And hopefully Indonesia will have a ballet company soon. <laughs> Please, very soon. Yeah, with good pay, with good salary. So mama and papa will be like, it's okay to be a dancer because you will get rich. <laughs> it's really, yes, big agreement for them. Right? Yeah, so they can like appreciate all the dancer because like learn how to dance. It's not easy and take times. It's also maybe like some people it's not cheap too. Yeah. Yes. But sometimes people think like it's easier to dance, easy to be dancer, just move your body. It's it's not because it's your life, you're feeling your heart inside. Yeah. True. It's... Just to go on point shoes. Yeah. <laughs> How many toes will die? No. <laughs> it's not pretty inside. <laughs> it's just pretty on the shoes. <laughs> I tried, I tried, and then I did échappé, and then the next day my big toe was black. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, we, we have it like almost like all the time. <laughs> it Instead happens. Nail every yeah, time. Especially if you're learning still yeah. and discovering, and then you still have to find the right point shoe because that's important. Looking yeah. for the right point shoe for your feet. Yeah. Yeah. One brand does not work for everyone. <laughs> yeah, so it's need to be careful. It's pointy, yes. kind of joke. Yeah, because like some kids right now, like so many online shop to buy like point shoes. They come with point shoes that they think it's fit, and they think they can wear it. Even like the teacher also not low for that moment, but they keep. Yeah. Or oh, like some parents think like it's cute or funny to use point shoes. It's it's not. Joke, it's a big deal. No, it's a big deal. Because yeah. you can hurt yourself. The, the kids yeah, can hurt right. themselves if it's really the wrong point shoe, wrong technique. Yeah. So it's best to listen to your teachers and follow good advice. <laughs> Maybe I have a good a good question from Kilau. Okay. He is uh, ask, if you if you cannot dance in your life, what you will do? 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you can be a chef. <laughs> maybe, maybe chef. Maybe chef. I'd probably be a chef. Or maybe I'd be like a concierge in a hotel. Yeah. Like, like the guy that does everything for the for the guests. Like, you know, something like that. An events manager or something like that. Yeah. I'll make parties. <laughs> like, I'll like, organize your party for you. <laughs> we'll have lots of stamps. Every time you do something nice, you get a stamp. You're covered in stamps at the end of the party. I'm kidding. <laughs> but good food, yes, chef. Probably chef. And then you can still be creative. I think yeah. being a chef is very, it's like dancing also. But you're dancing with ingredients. So you have to put the right amount of spice when you need to do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's also healing and a good yeah food. i'm sure kilau likes to eat also <laughs> <laughs> okay girls um boys thank you for today maybe mr pj you can give last 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 message for all the dancers in indonesia for student dancer students <laughs> to keep have up. fun <laughs> dancing is fun so even the hard work is fun. Look for the joy in whatever you do. And if it's hard, breathe, smile, and ask for help. <laughs> ask for help. And keep going. Keep smiling. Look for the joy. There's always joy somewhere. Something to be thankful for. Like me now, I'm thankful for all of you. Yeah. <laughs> miss you so much. Uh, yes, I'm missing you all now. Yeah, really miss you and all the kids also we can't wait to see you here we miss kg also he's crazier than me yeah. That's what <laughs> he's just calling me just right now and i said like live with pj and he said just oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's crazier than me so watch out for kg <laughs> yeah <laughs> Thank you, Mr. PJ, for thank you so much. And valuable weekend span well today. <laughs> and so, girls, don't forget next week. Also, we have like dance talk with who we can we can stay on our Instagram, Arabes Bala Instagram. What? We, yeah, we have a clue. Uh, sis, principal ballet, our one dance company. So maybe you can ask also like about more ballet because this time we with Mr. PJ with the multi talented dancer he can <laughs> yeah we can ask anything <laughs> to Mr. PJ right <laughs> yeah and next week we have yeah just keep smiling don't forget your password when you have Mr. PJ class come with smile and finish it with smile. Okay, no smile. So you'll be happy. You, you cannot enter the meeting room. <laughs> <laughs> Without smiling over your face. <laughs> That's all smile. I'll put a stamp on your face if you don't smile. <laughs> Everyone gets a stamp. Smile. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. PJ. Thank you, Thank everyone. Thank you. See, See you next guys soon. Time. Have a good dinner. Have a good weekend. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Good night, girls.